Okay guys, so um, this is Daniel from JC Tutorials and I'm going to show you how to make a simple web browser in Visual Basic 2010. So start off by clicking new project in this forms application. make it a bit bigger and I like personally adding a panel to the top to make it look nicer and uh, you can get the web browser another thing with the web browser afterwards but then add a text box Actually, I can make this a smaller. And um, can have that there. Add a couple of buttons. The first one will be my button Go. And I will have two small buttons for to make. To make them go forward and backwards, which is quite basic too. So I'll just put one of those, and one of those. Okay, so um, let's add the web browser, which is the most important part, really. And oh, just click. I'm, I'm joking. Click none and then just drag it out. And set the anchor to top left right button. Okay. So then I'm just going to add some codes. I've got a text document here for the should have a text document here somewhere for the web browser uh, so this is basically more you what to use and um, yep so let's put the code in for go double click and web browser one dot navigate text box one dot text and then that should navigate to what's in this text box so if I run it and I type google.com it should navigate to google.com so let's see uh, forward and backwards if you double click that backwards so web browser one dot go back it's really basic and so the forward one will be go forward okay so the next thing is a refresh button let's put that here for now Put an R for refresh and double click web browser one dot refresh. Can add another button for to stop refreshing, which is also really simple. Let's add this and I'll just click. Uh, 
yes, for stop. No. Web browser one dot stop. So this way it should when you run it dot google dot com press go and let's type YouTube and go. Okay, ignore Swedish um and you go back forward okay so um, refresh back to Google refresh Google refresh stop refreshing see works to stop refreshing and uh, they, they work basically so let's put another useful thing which is text box one dot document no sorry sorry um a moment web browser one document title changed and I've got this this code here which is basically just that This is quite odd. Okay, so let's remove that for now and just go with okay. So, next thing is oh, yeah, you can this button here you can make it perform a click when you press enter so text box one dot key down if e dot key code equals keys dot enter then button one dot perform click as so so if I type google.com I move the cursor here and I press enter it goes to Google um, okay next thing is a Google search thing so I'll, I'll add another text box here a bit smaller. Add a button. Okay, a bit bigger maybe. And um, let's type Google. So this is basically just really simple too. You double click it and um, just type web browser one dot navigate. Uh, and then I'll, I've got this which is there plus text box to the text I'll have that code in the description so yeah just or in a comment or anything um, so if we search Google for Google it'll search Google for Google 
Okay. So this is the thing. Now what we need to add. Oh, need to. We can add it because it's it's much nicer if you get a home page. Is a home page. Uh which would just be another button a small one for settings so just type set for now double click it form to dot show make a new form call form two and then they should be correct now in form two you add a button. Oh, it's a bit small. We can add a text box. And let's put this as a big one. Okay, so this button can be called change home page. Or set home page actually. It's better. Set home page. So in here we type the home page and you press set. Uh, now solution explorer, double click my project, go to settings, make a new one called home page, then inform two double click set home page and type text box one dot text equals sorry my dot settings dot home page equals text box one dot text and um, so that's pretty simple it pastes text box one into my settings home page or the home page setting you made go back to form 1 double click it so form 1 load web browser 1 dot navigate my settings home page okay so now if we do this let's say it'll just come up blank then set new um, take google.com set home page and then you do it again goes to google so this is pretty basic you can add another button up here if you want to just for for the design really so for example top corner or in the bottom corner and edit you will have to go on form to load type text box one dot text no text box one dot enabled sorry equals false button one dot enabled equals false I'm sorry for that equals false so now when you run this nothing will show it'll just can't click it when you press edit this is what we're gonna put in the on the edit button. So just text box one not enabled equals true button one dot enabled seriously. equals true. So 
so you run it, press settings, press edit, and this will go up. So google.com, which is already my home page, but then that'll just stay stay open. So you can you can add some basic stuff like when form two loads. Uh, text box one dot text will equal my settings homepage. So when you press this, it'll show Google.com. When you press the set homepage button, you can add so that oh I'm sorry you can add that um, these go false again um that that's basically what you need for a functioning web browser now about a home page and then um, got this whatever yahoo okay it searches google now for some reason okay it doesn't want to do anything just be weird Okay, there it is. Uh, did I add the enter? No, I didn't. You can go back to this. Do the same thing here. Key down if e key code enter. Then button six. Perform click, and um, that's basically it. That's what you'll need. You can, of course, fix the design. Uh, you can add these so they dock or they anchor to. You can take the whole thing here actually, and just add everything to the from. Okay, I'll uh, just fill. Um, do you take everything and you can unmark this one because that's unneeded? You can anchor them to the top left, right, which will give you. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Just do the top left. Don't do that. It looks all screwed up. Okay, uh, that's basically it for now. You can just set it to center screen if you want to make it start a bit nicer. But otherwise, I actually do not know what I can show you more than this. So, thanks for watching, and uh, new tutorials will be out soon.